is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Happy little boy Good morning, guys. We are waking up bright, but not very early. I don't know uh, if Mercury is in retrograde or what's going on with the world, but Dana is sick, so she's not coming up to help out with Leo today. Joel forgot to set his alarm, so he slept in and maybe will be arriving in the next little bit. Brandon is here and Trent and him are working outside, getting things ready to start framing. It snowed. Of course, not enough to accumulate, but enough to get our wood super wet and the dogs super muddy. So it's 34 degrees outside, just our luck. Hopefully it continues to warm up throughout the day. Um, but until then, we are bundling up and we are going to assess the damage to the wood. Hopefully we can continue to finish framing that last fourth wall of the garage today. And Leo has a tooth breaking through, which is really exciting. He seems to be in a better mood today than he has been recently. And we can feel a little, and we can see a little white tooth. It's coming. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say it is far enough into the year or into summer that it didn't actually snow. So like there was a little bit of snow on the forecast last night because it was raining and it got down to maybe like 30 degrees at our elevation, but it ended up just being like a little bit of slush, maybe a little bit of frost early in the morning. And now that the sun has come up for about an hour, all the snow has technically melted. It's still pretty muddy out here and uh, it is rather brisk. Also, uh, my buddy, the plumber is supposed to show up today and camera out the line. So I'm gonna have to use the machine to clear the sewer line again, and then he's gonna have to scope it. And hopefully he has some good news for us and not some horrible news. Either way, we gotta dig it up and fix it, but today's gonna be a fun day. We've been able to make really fast progress on the framing of this garage. We're almost ready for trusses, um, which is kind of a bummer with how fast things have been going so far. So the problem we're running into is we have this next garage door opening and the rest of that wall to frame and then sheathing all four walls. And then we're basically ready for trusses. And I called the truss manufacturer yesterday and I was like, hey, can you guys tell me where we are in the schedule? And they said, well, depending on when you put your order in, it looks like your order was put in like back in April. They're like, and our, with our delay times, your order is due to be manufactured mid to end of July. So we got like, you know, four or five weeks till the trusses are gonna be ready. We do have some other stuff that we can do while we're waiting. We have to dig up and fix our sewer septic line that uh, Curtis is supposed to come back and fix, but I might just tell Curtis, hey, rent me the machine and I'll do it myself. Either way, it's cold this morning and I'm just ready to get working. Speak of the devil. Dear guests, what's Joel wearing today? T-shirt and jeans. A t-shirt? Absolutely. No way! Trent! Oh my god! Oh my god! What was it? Is Joel wearing shorts? Nope. Oh, he cut his hair. He cut his hair! <laughs> no. I don't believe it. I know! Are you sure he didn't just have a ponytail? Like a different person. I don't know. Morning. Get hey. out of here. Who are you? What's that guy? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Did you lose a bet? Rylan buzzed his head and he's like, you should buzz your head too. And I was like, oh, okay. Now we're here. So now I got buzzed head. Oh wow. my goodness. You look like a totally different person. <laughs> so you doing? How does it feel? Naked. Naked? Is it freezing? Invigorating. I feel like you could run really fast. Probably. I got a drag now. That's crazy. We saw him last night. Really? Yeah. Eight, like 7 p.m. He had all of his hair. 
I would have like touched it if I knew it was the last time <laughs> I was going to see it. You want to see the pictures of how much there was? Yes, please. Here's how much was just in the bathtub. Ew. <laughs> wow. Looks like the ring. Yeah. I'm just bald and naked. <laughs> yeah. At least you're cute. Thanks. It looks good. Thank you. That was wild. Yeah. He looks like a totally different person. <laughs> you look so... Cyberpunk. Thanks. <laughs> That's what I was going for. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good day on the highway of my meeting zone. Oh. We tried to take advantage of the crummy weather yesterday and head to the shop and get a lot done meeting with the guys, figuring out the layout on the new Sprinter, and just honestly making a lot of progress with Mountain Made Vans. You have a fun day at the shop, Leo? Just the big eyes. He's always shocked, always surprised, always impressed. So we had some really constructive meetings down here at Mountain Made Vans. Matt and Bryce are knocking it out. They're getting our Happy Jack system ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're super stoked on how this thing is turning out and we're just got big plans for it. We got big plans for this Sprinter and I think there might be another van or two in our future that's gonna be coming in here. It's uh, it's crazy. It's hectic. I feel like we don't have enough time to like manage all the things that we've got going on But we are doing our best and things are making a lot of progress here. So we're gonna be taking off for the day, but a lot of progress was made Well guys we spent pretty much all day at the shop and now that we're back home I wanted to take a second to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by simply safe Allie and I have tried a lot of different security systems over the years and we keep coming back to Simply Safe. We absolutely love the features where you can check the camera when you're out and about. It has automatic locks, it has a remote. There's just so many convenient, awesome things about Simply Safe and we have loved using it. We've been using Simply Safe for years. We installed their system in Terry, around our property, and even after trying other systems, we keep coming back to Simply Safe for their simplicity, effectiveness, and reliability. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, you always know what's going on inside and outside your home. Motion sensor added. Everything ties into your keypad and home base, and you can set it up in just about 30 minutes. Your camera is ready for setup. So if you guys are in the market for a security system or you're just looking for some key convenient features that Simply Safe offers, we highly recommend them. And right now, if you click the link in our description or you go to simplysafe.com slash Trent and Alley, you can get 20% off your Simply Safe system when you sign up for interactive monitoring and you get your first month free. So thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Now we're gonna kick back, relax, and we'll see you guys in the morning. It's a gorgeous sunny day, but it's really cold. It's like 35 degrees right now, and uh, it's so cold. Or maybe we're just so not used to it anymore that like I have brain freeze. And, like I'm, my ears, like my head, the inside of my head is cold with how cold it is, which is sad because like in the winter time, 35 degrees is balmy, it's warm, but it's just been like in the 70s and 80s recently. So our tolerance is gone. <laughs> Good. 
Are you just feeling so crisp and rejuvenated with this autumn weather? My fingers are numb. Does it make you want hot apple cider? The problem, well, yeah, some hot apple cider sounds fantastic. <laughs> the problem is like most of this wood is wet. So yeah. it's like in the 30s and then you're touching wet wood and then your gloves are wet and now my fingers are like throbbing because they're so cold. You want hand warmers? That would be nice. It's almost to that point. <laughs> Excellent. We are having our septic line scoped this morning and the yep. plumber just showed up. Too. like there gets to be enough like sediment in there that it'll like actually plug and then I have to run the snake up this direction and when I run the snake up I run it about this far and then it clears it. yeah so there's either just a belly right here or it's, or it's broken yeah exactly let me grab it I'll try to get the full size one Is it supposed to be underwater right there? <laughs> it's not supposed to be underwater at all. <laughs> My guess is there's like the a whole 20 thing. foot belly right here. Oh, huge. I mean, that's why I'm pulling it back. It doesn't even seem possible that there could be that big and that long of a belly with the pipes damn near half full. Right. Wow. I just want to make sure we didn't go through a clog and I missed it. Because mm -hmm. that's a lot of... Yeah, I mean, I just ran that. Is the water still on? Yeah. Do you want to turn the turn the, the water off? off now that it's sure. Yeah, I see how okay, like. so we ran the sinks in the house for a little bit so that Trent could drain the lines and clear everything, any uh, remaining toilet paper, or anything that was in the lines. And we're trying to think. All right, maybe the sinks were on, and that's why this camera was underwater. So the sinks are all off yeah, now. There's no running water. Hopefully, this pipe drains, and we can see exactly what's going on. Ooh. This is cool, it's like doing laparoscopic surgery or something. <laughs> People that have seen colonoscopy videos compare it, especially when the line's clogged. Really? Yeah. Because yeah, you push it through and then when you pull it back, it closes up behind you. <laughs> That's like when I go to a house that needs a liner, if it's a cardiologist, yeah. I know it's a done deal because they immediately understand. They're like, oh, you're like gonna put a stint in my sewer line. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, at least it's not fully submerged anymore. No, but it the whole thing there shouldn't, shouldn't be any water. Like I'm right about here. You want me to take it up further just to see since we got it in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And this is 86 feet up. Wow. Now we're back to water. That's I mean, probably that. a result of that piece where it's crushed the great yeah. snow right on it. He has a little thing that'll go and locate the head where it's at, oh, so you just find the problem. Sick. Right? You have a locator? Correct. Yeah. Cool. It, it's not as easy as that. It uses uh, uh, sewn and two ghosts. So you got to find the two ghosts and then find in the middle, but basically what he said. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're starting to say. It's again. ruined. Everything's <laughs> ruined. Um, Basically, we found like two to three major problems in the septic line and uh, I'm not going to blame it all on Curtis because at least two of the spots are like legit big giant humps in the pipe, which means there was most likely a rock or something below it or the pipe settled unevenly and had to bend around specific spots which caused these big bulges in the pipe. But those bulges aren't like actually what's causing the backups. The backups are happening down here at the bottom because where those bulges are, like maybe there's a little bit of water, but it's like mostly clean mm -hmm. and the stuff can get through without an issue. It's down here at the bottom where it has like an upslope. It has a negative slope, which is causing a huge pool, huge belly of, in the pipe. And that's causing all the backups. So 
Basically, we're going to be getting a mini excavator and digging up from here to the house, pretty much. Basically, you have to redo the entire septic system. Yeah, he's 101 and a half feet from here, so... That's the house, basically. Probably right by the house. I'm hoping that our staircase and oh. our rock wall are not the gonna problem going to be compromised, or oh. else I'll have to send Joel in there digging like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> The good news is that in order to put in our new septic line for uh, the garage, I would have to dig up all the way to here and join that into the line already. So the fact that we have to go further back here makes sense. Quite a bit further. All the way over there. Do you, you have spray paint? I don't, but I can put pieces of scrap wood wherever we can. <laughs> <laughs> Little X marks the spot. It's a bummer because uh, we're kind of new to this construction game and when you do all the work yourselves, then if anything goes wrong, you have yourself to blame. And the only things we hired out, really at all, was the foundation and excavation. And that one person did both of those things and the septic system at the same time because you know everything was getting kind of torn up and it was easier to do that all at once. And he was like, oh, I'll just bid that whole project and get it all done for you. and the excavation and septic, it's a brand new system. It's been less than a year and a half, basically. And uh, who's to say really what happened? So we'll, we'll show him this video and kind of go from there. Doesn't that sound like a tool from Men in Black or something? Yeah. <laughs> Searching for aliens? Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters? The last one was about five There's feet. another. It's so weird that this. It looks like a liner. It really yeah. does because of the way it has the wrinkles and stuff in it. Hmm. It's white like it's PVC, but. And I'm. I don't know. It's just strange. So we're marking all the little spots that need to be dug up because there's a belly or a separation in the line and there's one spot that's really close to the propane tank, which means we have to dig right there, which is very scary because that means the propane tank could like fall or slip and it was just refilled so it's full of propane. You're not supposed to move propane tanks if they're full and uh, Trent was just saying we're probably going to have to get a crane out here to move the propane tank and it's full of propane and this is a disaster and I can tell you right now an explosion from a propane tank is exactly the type of YouTube video I do not want to make. <laughs> Sometimes I get lazy and I'm like, yeah. It's like a, probably a, close to a week that it would take to do it. Okay. Yeah. You'd probably be looking at the low to mid 20s. Yeah. Wow. To dig it up and re rerun it and put it back together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right. You guys have a good one. Thanks, man. You too. Take it easy. All right. Well, uh, Josh just did a really good job of cameraing the line and he located all of the issues for us. And now we have an idea of kind of right where the sewer line sits from here all the way up to the farthest point where it needs to be replaced and fixed. We got a lot of work ahead of us. There's going to be some massive excavation that's going to have to take place here. It's not like, you know, the end of the world because I do have to put footings for the deck I do have to put in this new septic line so we were gonna have to do probably you know like a third of this excavation regardless of whether we had to replace this line but like you heard him say uh, low 20s to mid 20s which is you know 20 to 25 thousand dollars to have this line dug up fixed replaced buried and we're gonna have to call our excavator and say, hey, uh, you know, you can either write me a check for half of this or you can come and do it. And I need you to do it quickly. So we'll probably end up doing it ourselves. Now that we're done playing with the septic line, we're gonna get back to framing. What do I believe? What makes me feel it to write you this song? <laughs> Five months and a year 
You guys, I figured it out. I was like trying to pinpoint who Joel looks like all morning, and I figured it out. Do you remember in the Big Lebowski the German bad guys that <laughs> came out like, <laughs> so That is exactly who you look like with those glasses. We want some money, Lebowski. Yeah. And the earrings. Thank you. Really funny. Have you seen the Big Lebowski? No. <laughs> you should just look up the Big Lebowski German bad guys. <laughs> and it would be like looking in a mirror. <laughs> it's really funny actually. <laughs> Now that the built-ins are done, we're getting rid of the baby changing station that we had upstairs in our bedroom. And some neighbors are actually, I guess, expecting a baby because they uh, responded to my Facebook post almost immediately saying that they would love to have it and they're here to pick it up right now. It's so cool meeting new neighbors that are also expecting their 30 weeks pregnant. And there's actually a ton of new babies up on the mountain, which is really fun. We were just talking about how we need to start like a mommy and me group or like a moms unite group on Facebook for moms on the mountain, because you can always use a little extra support no matter how many hands you have. It's definitely warming up out here, but it's still brisk, I would say. Leo is nice and comfy. Um, I don't think he's super cold but I am gonna just, you know, take every opportunity possible to go back inside, maybe fulfill some snack mom duties, make some food for the guys. Right, Joel? I could take some snack mom duties. Snack mom duties? You have to say, ja. Yeah. Yas. In a German accent. Yas. <laughs> and snack mom duties, nice. <laughs> what is going on here? Something must smell good. No, 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 snack mom. Snack mom, snack mom. We don't have any bread, so we have Tortillas from California. <laughs> With ham and cheese. <laughs> Mixed. How are you doing? Are you a happy boy? Yeah. yeah. Look at you. Yay. Like a grumpy, tired, happy. <laughs> Quick lunch, here you go. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> you look like one of those dealership blow up like dolls. Like the guy in Ace Ventura that he's shooting his spit wads at. Yeah. He's standing on top of the totem pole. <laughs> I guess there's just kind of like a negative on the day because I realize we have to excavate half our property. Yeah. Probably move our propane tank. Yeah. But really, I mean, it's probably like $100 worth of pipe. It's like not an expensive okay. amount of pipe. Okay. It's just digging it up and doing it is gonna be a pain in the butt. Joel's gonna dig like a mole. Joel the mole! Joel Whoa. the mole! Oh my gosh, especially with that haircut. Those glasses, you look an extra mole like. Thank you. <laughs> are you having people, fun yet? I'm having so much fun. Okay, good. So, people are probably so mad that I'm like giving Joel so much crap because they probably just think I'm a mean person, but. Well also, Joel gives it right back to us. It doesn't always make it into the video, but we can't. Joel's got some tough skin, don't worry. We can't film the crap that Joel gives because it's R-rated yeah. it on YouTube, but especially on the job site, like when you're the new guy, everyone has to crap on you. It's just the way that it goes. And then when Joel is like big man on the job site and a new guy comes on the side, Joel's gonna be like, ah, like yelling at him and making fun of him. And it's just how it works. You can break the cycle. Man. There's not gonna be a new man. Break the cycle and be the nicer guy. Brandon's trying to and my dad's trying to double down on it. <laughs> yeah, that's a new movie, The yeah. Last New Guy. <laughs> Is that a sequel oh, to God. New Guy? In a German accent. Yeah. <laughs> the Last New Guy, yeah. <laughs> the Last New Guy. <laughs> the Last New Guy. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know if you guys were going to be 
trust guy. He said, uh, he's like, you know, I was looking at this and this is just like so super basic. Like I don't, I don't need to come measure it. It's just a big rectangle, big box. He's like, if you can just measure it and send me the stuff right now, he's like, I'll get it to engineering today. No. And then they'll just like make them right now. No. And they'll be here tomorrow. No. Are you joking? I don't know. Okay. I don't know when they'll. I was be like, here. wait, that's too soon. That's, we need more time. That's so much. Yeah, put us back on the wait list, please. Mm -hmm. That's way better than the full 16 weeks that they were telling us originally. That's exciting. It's exciting. But we still got to dig up the sewer line, so <laughs> maybe those are coming a little too soon, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's finish framing this wall before it's time to go. All right. What's the update? Looks like a ladder died right here. Does. All right, ladder crime like scene. Up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Please be careful. Ow! What are you doing? Oh, I just got the biggest cramp in my hip. I don't, Yoga Brandon. I don't rock climb. Here we go. I'm gonna spring up off of this. Ah! Hope it's all nailed in. Yeah, these blocks that I'm standing on. And whether they were oh, Trent! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Like that? Did you do that? that was on... not staged. Did you do that on purpose? No. I was gonna say <laughs> on Friday, Brandon and I were working and that happened, and I almost fell. And he was like, "That's what Ali was talking about." And then it just happened again. You guys, you're wow. freaking me out. Get me out of here. Fix that, please. That was not staged. <laughs> that makes it even scarier. I Fix that. Who nailed those? But I could have lived. Seriously. Wow. That's really scary. Next month in Architectural Digest, amazing on, designs of the year, featuring Joel the Mole. Joel the Mole. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Structural marvel. It's gonna fall. I kicked something over. Kids, do not try this at home. Proud dad. <laughs> Does that bring back memories, Trent? Is it traumatizing? Dean was way worse. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's raising my blood pressure just watching them work. I think we're almost done for the day. They're just kind of snap a couple more chalk lines, wrap things up. And I'm very happy to be calling it. Oh, is there a Leo up here? A little boy named Leo. Hi. Did you have a nap? I thought of you, hoping that the ripples would make you notice me, notice me. And now you're here, sunlight on the ripples. Somehow you notice me, notice me. And 
just like that, today is coming to an end. And we're having parents' night out, which I'm super <laughs> excited about. <laughs> As you guys can tell, we've uh, showered and changed and we're getting ready to go out to dinner with some friends and uh, Russell and Leslie are gonna be watching Leo so that we can actually escape and go enjoy ourselves for the evening. I wouldn't say escape, but you know, breaks are important. <laughs> Sneak off, I don't, I don't know, whatever. Um, I really am kind of torn about how today's video went. Like we obviously got some really bad news with the septic system. I was expecting a little bit of bad news, not a ton of bad news. Um, but we did have enough studs to finish framing the wall. The wall is not as flat as it needs to be, so yeah. there's gonna be some changes down the road. But all in all, we had a great day and we did finish putting up all four walls, so we're super cool. happy about that. And if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you guys show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. It was literally the worst news possible for the septic system. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.